Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Bonolo and this is Bonolo's House of Yam. So today we are making a chicken stew. Finally, we're making something with meat during this lockdown. But this is a very simple chicken stew. This is something that I make when I'm, I feel like I, you know, I've got a little bit of energy to stand in front of the stove, but I don't want that many ingredients in it. But the other thing that is very attractive to me about the chicken stew is how it makes you feel. You know when everyone says the uh, chicken soup makes you feel better, even if you're feeling down, th this particular chicken stew does that for me. You know, you make it today and then you don't eat it all and it's left over and when you eat it tomorrow, it's absolutely amazing. So I'm going to make a little bit more than I need so I can have leftovers for tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to take you through the process. But before we do that, let's go through the ingredients real quick. So I've got some chicken portions over here. I've got chicken thighs, it's a mix of chicken thighs, drumsticks and wings. And then I've got some black pepper. You see it? There we go. I've got my salt. I always have salt, a lot of salt. And then I've got some carrots that I've chopped up. You can chop them out however you want. I just prefer mine to look like that. I've got frozen peas. And obviously the reason I'm using frozen peas is because they're easier to come by, they're easier to keep. And if you buy a bigger uh, portion of them, then and you don't use them all at once, they stay in the freezer. That way you don't need to worry about them going off. I've got a lot of onion. So I'm using red onion again. This is my mantra for this lockdown. I'm using what I have. So I'm going out to find other things if I can use what I have. And I had some red onion lying around. That's what I'm using. I've got garlic over here. It's always a lot of garlic. I like it. And I've got flour. So I'm using all-purpose flour because the flour is only going to help in the thickening of our sauce when we put the stew together. So if you have some other kind of flour, go ahead and do that but I'm using all-purpose flour. And then I've just chopped up some parsley. Can you see it? There we go. Okay, and then here's the interesting part. So I've got a block of a chicken stock cube, right? And I also have a chicken stock that's ready. So whichever one that you want to use. So I had already made the block mixed it with the water and it looked very unfortunate but I did want two blocks so I've got one dry block and one that I've already mixed with the water in terms of the portions or the quantities I will put the recipe below so you can ensure that you have the right quantities and the, the right portions to ensure that your recipe tastes fantastic or as good as mine so yeah that's it for the ingredients now we are going to actually do the stew on the stove top so the rest of the video you will see or a lot of the video you will see will be on the stove top and i'm using a quite large saucepan so that's what you're going to need so let's go there right now <laughs>
Okay. After that, the chicken go. And as you can see, we've already got that lovely browning over there. I'm really struggling because I can't find my tongs, but you just have to bear with me just a little bit. I've got the next best thing though, a fork that works. Okay, so I'm just turning them over. So the wings are probably going to be the most difficult to brown. So don't worry too much about that. Because they are the smaller pieces, they have the least amount of meat, and they are going to cook the quickest. So don't be too worried about it. Because remember, we're not cooking it yet. We're literally just trying to brown the chicken to ensure that we've got a lovely browning, that the seasoning holds on to the chicken, and that we can ensure that it's sealed before we actually put the sauce on. So I've just turned it over. Going to season just a little bit. My salt and my pepper. And then I'm going to leave it to go just on the other side, about three minutes or so. I'm back. I'm just going to remove the chicken out of the pan to get the sauce started. And I just want to clarify something. I've just had the cameraman saying now, uh, shouldn't it be longer? Because it's the bottom side of the, of the chicken and it's the more meaty part. But remember guys, that's not the cooking process. We were just actually just browning it. So we were just trying to get a nice browning on the chicken we are still going to cook the meat for quite a while inside the sauce so all we're trying to do is to get the browning and now I'm going to take the chicken out because now we're going to start with the sauce. And then we're going to put the chicken back in to actually cook. And that's going to be a much longer process. And during that time, your chicken will be properly cooked all the way because we are really, we're not going to play games with chicken. So I'm just going to take the chicken away, put it in the microwave for a few minutes while we put the sauce together. Two more spoons of olive oil.
So that's about 30 minutes on the clock that we've had the stew running. And now I'm ready to put in my peas. I'm using frozen peas. They'll be easy for you to get. Normally frozen vegetables we always have quite a bit of in the fridge. And the nice thing about frozen vegetables is normally they are, so they're quick frozen, but normally they're uh, pre-cooked. So you don't need to worry about cooking them from scratch. Oh, well, I lost a carrot. So I'm just going to put it in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let it go so my peas can just thaw through. That is literally all we are doing. Because after this, we are ready to eat. It's actually just that simple. The one thing about it is it just takes a bit longer to make. It doesn't make it doesn't take longer than a normal stew, but it takes longer to make than some of the things I'll be making in this kitchen normally. But when you eat it, when you you know get to eat it, you'll understand exactly why. It is going to be such a special taste. And then I did say earlier that I normally like to leave mine over and then have it the next day. It's amazing the next day. It really is amazing. So I'm just going to let it thaw out the peas and then we will be good to go. And we are good to go. So this is our chicken stew. Just gonna pop it out there a little bit. It's done and ready. So the stew from top to bottom, um, I will put all the times at the bottom along with the other ingredients and the recipe. But the cooking time of the stew, 30 minutes, it is good to be eaten. And as you can see, I've made quite a bit of it so we're going to be able to eat it for this meal and then I will still have some for myself to enjoy tomorrow so I actually suggest that you do the same I'm just going to put some parsley on it make it pretty because the family is actually waiting to eat so I just need to go and present that so we can get going here is the finished product can you see <laughs> this is about to go into my belly as you can see I've just paired it with some steamed butternut and some turmeric rice it's just broken rice that I've made on the side I think I might um, probably at a later stage just give a recipe on how to make broken rice that's the chicken stew that I have been making it smells absolutely amazing and I'm about to enjoy my dinner now because yeah, yeah, I suppose it's time for dinner so thank you very much for watching and um, if you like the video please just like it as in click on like and also if you're looking forward to seeing other videos from me then I think you should subscribe to ensure that you get notified every time we have a new recipe. So I'm going to get going here and yeah that's it from me. See you next time. Bye bye.